off the edge of the Clark Memorial Bridge. We don't know wow. exactly how this happened yet. So this is in Rescue Kentucky. Trying to get to him now. When they pull out, you'll see off to the top right of your screen, you'll see the fire truck and all the firefighters up there. But this rescuer went down. This is insane. And just did a miraculous thing. Mm. And I, I just we for all of the talk about first responders at, on so social media and other things on social media, I've heard not this enough about at this, this. I wasn't sure that we would catch it. I wasn't sure that it would happen. They were hanging over freezing cold water, the Ohio River. Wow. You hit that, it's like hitting cement at that height. Mm. Officials say a motor vehicle collision caused the scene. We're learning more now. The bridge is shut down in both directions. But if you want to see faith in action, watch what this rescuer did. Lowered down to the cab's front, pulled the driver out, and now dangling far wow. above, even farther above the Ohio River. These Freezing are the first responders. We got a 1,000% salute. The two of them and one heart. He's holding on to. Look at him twirl. Maybe we'll see that the he might have been able to get a harness driver. around this man. We can't quite see it. But he would have only had split seconds to do that. I don't know if he, he has Any a harness on, on him or the dude. It looks like the dude is now, just holding on to the actual first responder. The truck on the other end, but I don't know how you would. It doesn't look like there's a way to do that. That gravity is so powerful where that truck is. But look where the two are dangling just at the lip of the bridge. They're going to make it. He's pulling his hand out. Yeah. We pray. Wow. Oh, we pray for this. The, the fact that the truck hasn't fallen, I don't know what's even holding so that truck up. So as you watch this, um, I, we, we don't know the wind conditions. Other than like we, we don't angels know and miracles. Other than the fact that it's very cold, and certainly that water of the Ohio River is. Um, Emily, what are you seeing? You're pointing. Oh, I'm just, I'm, well, I'm trying to get a read on the exact name of the department who is engaging in this heroic rescue. So rescuing. they're dangling overcome and overwhelmed slowly. By you got wind conditions, and the training fear. We are watching. This is training at its finest. It Our is. first responders put their lives on the line every day, and they are there in that instant. They are the 911 call that people in distress and need who are watching their lives flash before their eyes as Literally. they're dangling over a bridge. These are the heroes, and we are watching a heroic rescue in action. God bless these first responders. All right, so we got close there again to the lip of the bridge. So they, it's, it's still unaware, super close, but at the um, same time, they're like, keeps them back if that's at wind, any given if moment, that's everything gravity, could go wrong here. What, what they're trying to do, can they bring him in with some other sort of ropes as we watch this? This started not long ago, 12.04 p.m. Eastern. It's 12.42 and 10 seconds Eastern right now. Mm. So they've been working at it for a while, but not too long. Um, and, and look, again, look at all of the people using their the the hands, the the, the, all of these the people working the together. This is what America is supposed ropes. to be. So, so this harness situation, they're trying to pull him in as if they were mountain climbing, but had fallen off a mountain. I, I'm going to guess it probably feels that way. Kaylee, what do you see? You know, I, I'm just putting my mind Get closer. in the mind of this truck driver. I, I can't tell from this angle whether it's a man or a woman, but I just imagine someone who was doing their job on a Friday, perhaps thinking right. about going home to their family, and then your truck goes off the side of a bridge and you think it's wow. the end, but the ingenuity like, just of look at America's that. best, our first responders show up. Wow. Louisville Metro Police now say that they uh, have not been able to confirm uh, anything more about the collision that started this. But yeah, that's what I want to know. Who, how did the accident vehicles. happen? Uh, and, and so what happened after that collision, again, we don't have all the, the context of that, there was somebody inside the truck cabin, part of the trailer hovering over the Ohio, the freezing over Ohio River. Hey, the rescuer goes down from what we believe. In you can't just yank them in either. They're on the crane and it's winds. Responding exactly. This is nerve wracking. Um, but this is a situation that you see they're back near the lip of the bridge and unable as of yet to get pulled in but they are trying mightily to to make that happen the clark memorial bridge or second street bridge as it is called oh my goodness they're so close he's got his feet almost on the railing they can they almost got him. reach him do they got him and as i said the lord is working a miracle right now oh, before man. our eyes and i don't know how he continues to hang on he's holding on, on to, to the actual other. truck driver or the truck driver's holding on to him kentucky the water below freezing uh, the they got they got his foot. Like oh. cement, and he got his foot. Wow. They've got the left foot of one of the men. Wow. 
You see the ropes I was that are tethered in. to the rescuers. Oh, wow. Harness. They've, they've got him. They're, they're trying to pull him down. I wish we had sound. They got him. But there, I, I can only imagine there's got to be some cheers. Mm. Thank you. The cheers to go with all the tears. You know, there's a, there's a lot of negativity on the internet. There's a lot of things, people talking about people, people dissing people, people being bigoted, people being just jerks, trolls, all of that. These are the types of things, this is that 9-11, 9-12 type of energy that we need to see more of on these social media platforms all across the internet. The uh, gentleman that did the actual rescuing was a firefighter, and I, I still think firefighters do not get enough love, do not get enough respect. Never mind the fact that every time they show up, they probably are going to jump into a burning building. But on top of that, stuff like this, because there's a lot of guys that are paramedics, that ex-military, whatever, and they become first responders. And these are the things that the internet needs to be more filled with. So huge shouts to that, for those, that team, excuse me, because it can't happen without a team, that team of first responders right there. That is literally real life American hero shit. Huge shouts. If this doesn't put some warm in your heart and some fire in your belly to recognize that there doesn't have to be a conversation about arguments or political whatever when somebody's in trouble and needs other people with skill and patience and discipline to do the work. So kudos to that entire team over there. Um, I'll, I'll find out who they are and I'll make another post talking about who they were and uh, the gentleman that was the driver. So something, something positive for the timeline, guys. Again, this is the reason why we talk about health and fitness. This is the reason why we talk about preparedness. Go over to solutionaryuniversity.org. Register, see what classes are there for you. Register for them online. Be safe, be solutionary.